Welcome to day three of InterSolar North America 2016. We have Gina Gustin here, part of the sales executive team at Solar Tech Universal. Gina, tell us a little bit about what's going on at uh, InterSolar so far. Yeah, good morning everybody on the West Coast. Good afternoon to everybody on the East Coast. We've been really excited about our turnout here at InterSolar. Uh, there's been a lot of buzz about the new technology of smart wire. People are interested in a new US-based, US-owned company. Uh, we've been thrilled to meet a lot of our counterparts that are manufacturing in this industry as well. Uh, and just to understand speaking with like-minded people and looking forward to start working and dominating this industry with everybody. Awesome, awesome. And so I see here we're introducing Glass on Glass. That's pretty exciting. We are. Everybody's very excited about that. It seems to be like a magnet that everybody wants to come over and look at our Glass on Glass module. We have some folks over here this morning. Uh, we're excited to be pushing through the R&D and design work on that and we're excited to be able to get the product out to people who are really wanting to enjoy it. Perfect, Gina. Thank you so much and we hope to see you again soon. All right. Bye, guys. Universal's headquarters in Riviera Beach, Florida. We're welcoming you into our 80,000 square foot facility today where we manufacture some of the most state-of-the-art solar panels on the market. We utilize a technology called SmartWire. We are excited to bring this technology to both you and your clients and we want to introduce you to it today, take you on a quick tour of our manufacturing line because we hope that you are smart enough to use the best. Here at SolarTech Universal, it all begins with a single wire. We incorporate smart wire technology into every single panel that we produce. We have completely eliminated bus bar technology. This means to you that we create a more highly efficient module as well as one that lends itself to more modern aesthetics too. Here at our roll to roll unit, we begin with 18 individual spools of smart wire. The smart wire is then strung in parallel and placed upon one of our polyopalin sheets. This undergoes a slight thermal process to actually bond the smart wire to the polyopalin sheet. This creates our foil wire assembly, or the FWA. This is an important part of our process because this is the base in which a highly specialized solar cell will be placed upon. Once we can create an entire spool of FWA, we load it into our cell stringing station. Now that I created my FWA spool, our next stop is the cell connection station. You can look forward to that and much more on our next episode of Inside Solar Tech TV, where you will have a detailed look at our equipment and advancements of our quantum series solar panels. We hope that you join us. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. We're 2016 at the Moscone West Center, San Francisco. Today, we have Glenn Woodruff, 
part of the Solar Tech Universal sales executive team. Glenn, talk to us. Tell us how is day three going so far? It's been beautiful. A lot of uh, activity here today. Uh, been nonstop people telling them about Solar Tech Universal. Sure. And that's what I want to do right now. I want to tell you a little bit about, a bit about Solar Tech. Uh, we are a U.S. owned and operated module manufacturer, uh, assembly modules in Palm Beach County, Florida. We also just broke ground on a plant in Puerto Rico where we're going to have a factory producing modules 140 megawatts per year. I'll tell you a little bit about our technology. So, right here you're seeing our latest and greatest. So, this module is in certification right now. Our technology partner, Meyerberger, is helping us with that. This is a bifacial, hetero junction, glass on glass, frameless module. I'll tell you a little bit about the technology. So, a hetero junction cell is a silicone cell with uh, layers of amorphous silicone on both sides. It's a more advanced technology. Also, Meyerberger, we are the sole licensee in North America of their smart wire technology. So, smart wire allows us to remove bus bars from the cell. And what does that mean? That means we have a uh, reduction in mechanical stress. There's no the bus bars aren't printed on. There's no soldering from cell to cell. There's a reduction in shading. So the wires take up a considerably less surface area on the cell than the bus bars themselves. Meyerberger's done white papers on this and they estimated an additional two and a half to three percent energy yield throughout the life of the module. Looks uh, beautiful. Pretty, Looks thank beautiful. you. I mean, it's, when you think about it it's, it, it's not just about watt peak. You look at the total energy production of the module and that's a, that's a game changer when you start looking at that, that level of additional energy production. The wire also, so we have fingers that run horizontally on a cell and, and the wires that run vertically every time they intersect is an opportunity to collect energy. So we have all these contact points on the cell. Cells are very fragile. So a typical solar cell is about 180 microns, which is uh, you know basically the uh, width of three human hairs. So they're very fragile and micro fractures can develop over time. A uh, installer goes on the roof or a cat or whatever and steps on it and you develop cracks. Thermal cycling which is variations in temperature, expand those cracks over time. And the efficiency of the module gets worse and worse. With this technology, we're still able to collect that energy. I think you can see the significance of that. So, also electron recombination. So these act like highways and byways on a road system. So in a traditional module with bus bars, you have all these electrons fighting for space on this bus bars. With this, we're able to get those electrons off of those cells very efficiently. Awesome. Now talk to us about the 60-cell uh, panel with a frame behind you. Sure. So this module is actually made with the exact same cell as this. So this is a bifacial hetero junction cell. We just happen to be using a white back sheet on this application. This module is in certification. We are actively producing this module. We received our TUV factory certification in December of 2015 and we received our ISO 2015 certification a couple months later. So this module is a 310 watt module, this flashed at 310. Let's take a quick look into that. You can see the electronic characteristics of the module. UL TUV certified, perfect. So this module, we can put it in our Poisson flasher. Um, Poisson is pretty much the highest rated flasher in the industry, a very low variance in measurement. We can take this module, flash it at 310, induce micro fractures all in it, put it back in the flasher and it'll still flash at about 270, 275, possibly even 280. I want to talk a little bit about the quality of our production process. So the Meyerberger machine that we use to, to, to create this module and integrate the, white, the smart wire is about 95% automated. We're really excited about what Solar Tech has to offer. Uh, any final closing statements you'd like to make? Well, we're excited. Uh, we, the, the, the amount of enthusiasm for our products, the uh, understanding of what we're trying to do here in this market, I think is, is evident. And uh, you know, we're looking forward to partnering with uh, a bunch of integrators that will be installing our products uh, with satisfaction. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gun, and we'll see you back again soon. Not a problem. Thank, Thank you. you.